Gemma, Jason, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And what a film this is. The plot is sort of based on the story of Madame Bovary, but what is this movie actually about? It's based on Madame Bovary, but it's about, instead of Madame Bovary being French, she's actually an English girl. It's mainly in French. It is. <laughs> and you couldn't speak any French at all beforehand? No, I, well, I, I, when I got sent the script, I didn't speak any French. Jason did speak. You spoke. I thought I spoke better French than her, initially. And then I, and then when I got the part, I thought, oh, you know, I've got to learn French, so I went and learned French. <laughs> she spent, like, she spent like two and a half months in, a, in, a, in France alone learning French without telling me. Yeah, and then when I turned up <laughs> on the film set, he's like, oh, wait. Bonjour, Gemma, and that was about as far as I got. Go to another, other countries mm. and go and speak French, uh, English and hope people kind of understand. So I think learning another language, moving there and doing all that, it was sort of, for me, more than the film. Had you learned it at school or something like that? I used to sell donuts on the beach in Saint Tropez. No way! Did what was you your? Not, yeah. Did you? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ben ye pom, ben ye pom, and I used to walk up and down the beach in a caftan and a hat, selling donuts when I was sixteen. That's That's actually a donut good. off you. you were, yeah, you would have done. It's actually a pretty good job. Pretty yeah, it was great. Job. We lived in a caravan with four of us, and that's basically where I got my. So you were sort of Thank ready you. for it. Whereas, I guess for you, Jim, but this was a really seminal, life-changing movie for you. Yeah, I, I live between London and Paris, but I spend, these days, I'm more in Paris. And, um, and now I'm, I'm in the, right now I'm shooting another French film, um, but it's way more advanced level of French, with all French actors, French director, and I've got a French agent. And yeah, it did change my life, this film. It was a lovely project. And it's uh, a little bit saucy. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Yeah, well, she has fun. She has fun. <laughs> everyone, everyone falls in love with my wife. <laughs> I guess, Jason, you, you must have read the script and thought, wow, I get to be married to Gemma Arterton. That's British. pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. It's always a good thing to wake up and be married to Gemma Arterton. <laughs> um, not so good to be married to Gemma Arterton in a village where everyone else is in love with Gemma Arterton. But yeah, but no, it's, it's not very nice. It was fun, though. It was great. I mean, and she's yeah. encouraging it more than, more than a little bit, yeah. I guess mm -hmm. you might say. Because we were, we'd worked together before, and so we knew each other anyway. So it was, it was just really nice to, to be in France together, yeah. wasn't it? Eating crepes every night it in the one restaurant that we ate in with a creperie. It's funny, because obviously everyone's French, and um, even though Gemma speaks really good French, it's an effort, you know, after a day's filming, you just want to be English again. So we used to sneak off and have dinners and it was amazing. We had like six weeks in, in uh, the north of France together. It was very lovely. As far as jobs go, it's not, it's bad, not a bad one. It's not a bad gig. And Gemma, I have to ask you, how does Jason compare? Because obviously you've had some pretty good leading men. Uh, Daniel Craig, mm -hmm. Jake Gyllenhaal, mm -hmm. is he up there? Jason's number one. Hey. Oh, there you go. Like, totally just the best. I'm excited to see who will be the next Bond though. Who would you like to be the new Bond? Idris. <coughs> Idris. It is such a charming, charming film, so I really hope that people get to see it because it is something quite different, you know, because there's so many blockbusters out there at the moment, but it's great to have a summer movie that has some real hearts. We will see you soon. Trying this new, uh, all these new um, uh, diets and everything, but there's something called gluten-free. Oh, yes. And I must give it high recommendations for you out there. I've, I've lost a few uh, a few pounds 